Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making three recipes that all go together very well. Raw corn chips, pico de gallo and guacamole. So let's jump right in. Since these corn chips are raw, you'll need to use fresh sweet corn. So remove the kernels from the cup and place them into a bowl. If you're wondering, you can thaw some frozen corn and use that instead of fresh. Just be aware that most frozen corn is blanched and no longer raw. But if you don't mind, just go ahead and use frozen corn. The next ingredient for these corn chips are golden flax seeds. I'm using golden because of the light color, but you can use the regular brown flax seeds as well. Put them in a high speed blender and process them into a fine powder. I have tried making the corn chips without the flax seed meal, but found them too brittle, so I do recommend using the flax seeds. So now that you have the corn and the flax seeds prepped, put all the ingredients into a high speed blender and blend them on high. So to the flaxseed meal, add some water, the corn, some fine sea salt and spices. It's really up to you what spices you use, but here I'm using some chili powder and cayenne pepper. Now, if you don't have a blender, you can also use a food processor to make the corn chip better. I actually find that a food processor works better for this recipe, so I'll be using it from now on. Once you have the corn chip mixture ready, spread it into a very thin, even layer onto a silicone mat or dehydrator sheets. I've tried using parchment paper for this recipe as well, but haven't had success with it. Since the corn chip mixture is quite wet, the parchment paper starts to wrinkle underneath it and it's really difficult to get the mixture distributed evenly. You'll want to dehydrate the chips at 115 degrees Fahrenheit for about 4 hours. After that, take the corn chips out of the dehydrator or an oven if you're using an oven as a dehydrator and score them into whatever shapes you like. Then put the chips back into the dehydrator and dehydrate them for another 2-4 to four hours. After that, flip the chips over and dehydrate them until completely dry and crisp. The chips do brown quite quickly so keep an eye on them. When the corn chips are done, break them apart and store them in a glass container until you're ready to use them. Now, the second recipe is pico de gallo, also known as salsa fresca. Pico de gallo is similar to uncooked salsa and is very quick and easy to put together. With pico de gallo, the vegetables are also chopped instead of blended, which gives the sauce its rough, spiky appearance. So starting with tomatoes, the best kind are plum tomatoes because they have great flavor with a meaty texture and they're usually less juicy. The next ingredient is the onion. Most Mexican cooks use white onion in their salsas and so do I. White onions are slightly sharper than yellow or red onions and complement the tomatoes really nicely. Next are the chili peppers, in this case jalapeno peppers. I like to de-seed them because the seeds are the spiciest but if you don't mind the heat you can just chop them with the seeds. Thank you. 
and finally the cilantro many people dislike cilantro including my husband but it's really an essential flavor in pico de gallo so try to use at least a little bit and see what you think my husband actually didn't mind the cilantro in this recipe at all when all the ingredients are chopped add some lime juice fine sea salt Mix it all together and voila, you have pico de gallo. It's really simple but really tasty. Now onto the final recipe, guacamole. Some people like their guacamole chunkier, some people like it smoother. I like the chunkier version better, but because we already have crunchy chips and somewhat chunky pico de gallo, I'll turn the guacamole into more of a dip. So first things first, chop the ingredients. You don't have to worry about chopping everything too much because all the ingredients will go into a food processor anyway. So chop up some white onion and cilantro. Then add a generous splash of lime juice and a sprinkle of sea salt. You could also add some jalapeno peppers, but I already have cayenne pepper in the chips and jalapeno pepper in the pico de gallo. So I didn't add any into this guacamole. Last but not least, add the avocados and blend until smooth or whatever consistency you like. If you're going for the chunkier guacamole, you can just chop all the ingredients very finely and then mash the avocados with a fork or a potato masher instead of using a food processor. Now, avocados tend to brown when they're exposed to oxygen. So, if you know you're not going to be serving the guacamole right away, instead of mixing the chopped onion in right away, save it for later and then sprinkle it on top of the finished guacamole. Then cover it with plastic wrap or seal it with a lid and then place it in the fridge for up to three days. When you're ready to serve the guacamole, just mix the onion in and your guacamole will be fresh and green. And that's it. These three recipes are perfect for a Mexican themed party or just to enjoy with your family and friends. So usually when I shoot a video, I'm really familiar with the recipe either because I make it all the time or because it's one of our favorites. But for these raw corn chips, I actually, um, yeah, I actually made them only twice before I shot this video and I saw the idea on Pinterest and I was thinking oh this would be really cool for my channel and so I tried it I tweaked the recipe and I really liked it and so I thought that I would share it with you the only downside um, is that it takes really long time to make the chips because you can't bake them you do have to dehydrate them I tried baking them just to see if it would work but the chips just always burn so I would definitely recommend dehydrating, the, dehydrating them if you're gonna make them I was trying to figure out what these taste like when I finally got it. Sun chips. Um, you can buy them in the store. They've got like the ruffled kind of look to them. The larger chips taste a lot like that. The sun chips. So like, if you like threw some of your own flavoring on there, there you go. The smaller one or the thinner ones, I should say, are crunchier. And they taste a lot more like veggie chips. Like Petra has a recipe for, for veggie chips. Mm -hmm. Kale, sweet potato. Um, beets. Beets. And these taste a lot like the veggie chips. So if you like the thinner stuff, go try the veggie chips as well. The thicker, uh, lighter ones have a lot more structural integrity and mm -hmm. will provide that, that dipping power that you so sorely need when you're eating. Uh, something like pico de gallo, you need to get a lot in there, or at least I do. So just do it. It's delicious. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.